This is intense. Hmm. Now the question is, is that another bomb or is that a giant robot testicle? What's up guys and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. And for today's episode, one of the best series of workshop levels in this game has finally returned. Okay, for some reason you missed the episodes where I played Stay in the Shadows 1, 2, and 3. I highly recommend it because they are debatably the best levels for this game ever made. They had working thermonuclear warheads and giant three-story tall robots and mech warriors and... Like, you name it, it was absolutely ridiculous. And today, Stay in the Shadows 4 was released. So let's go pay another visit to Super Evil Co. Since it's been a while since we played these levels, I figured I'd bring you guys back up to date. I believe in the first one, we stole their plans for making a giant mech warrior army. And then in the second one, we ruined their three-story tall robot. And then in the last one, we stopped them from firing a thermonuclear bomb. But in doing so, they killed one of our friends. Right? We had a spy friend. He was captured and tortured and killed. So now we're returning to Super Evil Co. headquarters to get revenge. Like that. There's some revenge for your face. Giant evil robot. Giant evil sign. Not so giant dead security guards. Yeah, we're definitely in the right place and we have a button here. So I clearly need to press the button. Button open a door for me? No, the button closed a door for me. Why would I want to close doors? I'm trying to, oh, I'm holding the security guards off. Hello, sir. Okay, he, he came at me first, guys. That wasn't my fault. <laughs> so you guys aren't gonna cause me trouble. Do you wanna come over here and introduce yourself? Come on, come on, I'm sure, I'm sure these blades are nice. Oh, he's smartened up, well then. Wonder if I can just, oh, watch out. Oh, <laughs> there's some revenge for the back of your head. Oh, that was wonderful. Well, at least they do a really good job labeling things here. I'm guessing I get to choose my weapon and then go through that giant well-lit door. Is this locked? No. Security guards running around, but it's not locked. So what does the button do? Oh It just disables security and there's a door up here as well Like there's so many little alternate paths. No, no, excuse me, sir. I need to be sneaking around. Oh, that's not a door Weird. Oh I could have stealth my way around the entire thing. Whoops <laughs> Okay, you know what? I think that's fine. I'm uh, not one for stealth when it comes to revenge I'm just gonna plow my way on through it is a little dark here, but they do a great job of labeling where I need to go. I uh, think I would rather have the katana over two bullets, and we're just gonna kick the door down like a badass. Whoa. This is intense. Hmm. Now the question is, is that another bomb, or is that a giant robot testicle? Maybe I should just ask this gentleman. Excuse me. Sir, is this a robot nutsack? I really need to know for my revenge. That's rude. <laughs> I know you were already balding. You probably didn't really need me to take a little off the top, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, and we have the prisoners that are building stuff. <laughs> That's still my favorite part of this game. It might not be anything, right? This might just be like a main lobby and they have a giant art piece in the center. No pretentious super villains. If you call yourself Super Evil Co. and you put a sign on the side of the building, then you're a pretty pretentious super villain. As always, things are very well labeled around here. They might be pretentious, but they're also very neat and tidy. So I'm guessing to get over there, we're gonna need to work our way around. Yeah, we're just gonna, oh no. Yeah, you see, so this guy doesn't really need a haircut. I think I'm just gonna, <laughs> Take a little bit more off the top. Larry, you're on the job. Now is not the time to sniff your own butt, okay? That is just gonna get you fired. Just that simple. Ooh, super evil co-headquarters. This guy is just begging to get kicked off the edge or not. <laughs> he bounced off it like it was a wall. Oh, I feel kind of bad. Kicking you over the edge would have been so Assassin's Creed. Instead, I was just a jerk. Who turned those back on? Weird. 
Okay, we're gonna have to keep an eye out. There might be somebody following me. We made our way around. Okay, we're just gonna keep kicking through doors like a total super badass. Hello? Yeah, don't mind me. I'm, uh, totally here on legal business. There we go. <laughs> Never even saw it coming. Fancy. Okay. So we have a bunch of trolls. We're just gonna get rid of the trolls really quick. They're busy memeing. Can't have the memers get loose because then they'll sneak up behind you. There we go. Evil sir, I've disposed of your memers. Now, I didn't see that. That's my bad. <laughs> I just wanted to kick you over and have a talk. I, I doubt you're gonna hear much right now. All right, well, um... So that door is closed, and I don't see any buttons around. It's kind of hard to tell what's a button and what's a bloodstain, but I think this opened up so we can go down here. Yeah, there we go. I'm hoping that we can find the guy who killed my friend, right? There was some kind of super villain boss hanging around somewhere. I also really hope this katana is infinite. What the hell is that? We've seen the mech warriors before. We haven't seen the crab people. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Why did it just breathe fire at me? What did, what did I do to make it breathe fire at me? That was really weird. And it's got like multiple faces. Every angle you look at it, it's got a different face. What a monstrosity. Okay, well, if it breathes fire, then I probably shouldn't hang around it, right? That's what my mom always told me. Sir, you really don't want to hang around with them. They breathe fire. So we have mech warriors. We have giant robots. We have thermonuclear bombs. And we have crab people. And I think that opened the gate that I couldn't get through before. So now we should be able to head back. Will there be anybody waiting for me? Nope, nope. Everybody is uh, still hanging out. That's good, good, good. Hoping we find more interesting... Weird robots. The security guards here aren't exactly the brightest. Hi! What you guys doing? Supervillain stuff? Probably not. I don't think they're the supervillains, right? They're just lackeys. Can I smell your shoulder? Just, just a little bit. Just a little sniff. Wow. How is this actually working right now? I am so close to this security guard right now that if I swing... I'm not even sure I would hit him. I'm literally rubbing my junk up against his hand. He's totally okay with it. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, you never liked him to begin with, did you? So you could just catch that, and you could just catch that. <laughs> I never realized if you threw the tasers, they activate. That's pretty awesome. Um, can I have my katana back? What did you do with it? There it is. Thank, thank you. I'm never one to turn away from a button, so we're just gonna... Press that. That did a thing. Oh, I think that probably lowered the door with the guy stuck in it. What's in here, though? Secrets? I want to find secret secrets. Ooh. The Super Evil Co. boardroom. Should we be here? I don't know if this is the next place to go or not. Or should I go back to the door that I opened? Oh, I don't like diverging paths because I never know... Where the level is going to end or not. Okay, well, we can just uh, give you a kick in the back of the head. <laughs> so we've clearly been here because there are a whole lot of people sleeping on the job down there. Uh, oh, friends. Hmm. I should probably release the friends. Okay, let's just... There we go. <laughs> it's never going to get boring. Okay. There you go. You, um, you go over there. I probably should have gone to the boardroom first, I guess. Oh my god, there's so much stuff going on here. Like, look at this thing. That was pretty evil. Maybe we'll just wait to go through that and see where my friend went. I should really keep on him. My friends are kind of... useless. What you doing? Just warming your hands on these spears? I think he's been in jail a little bit too long. It's just scrambled eggs up there now. Okay, that's fine. You just hang out there. I'm gonna go back to the boardroom and see what was through this path first because I'm willing to... Oh. I can't do that. We might need to play this level more than once because I'm really curious what's over there now. 
<laughs> oh well, I guess we're set going through here. Hmm. Yep, red light. Evil sign that uh, exploded into things. Ooh, okay, let's just drop down here. It's you. You're the one who killed my friend. You will burn for it. <laughs> Oh man, it's like Star Wars all over again. Dun, 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 Except the difference is you're not gonna get up and turn into Darth Vader. You're just gonna be a burnt little marshmallow. I have no doubt that one shot from the katana would kill me, but now I win. <laughs> and you could just be a burnt little marshmallow. I meant to kick him in the fire, not kick him in the nuts, but you know what? It's a win-win. So we can press this. Friend, we're leaving. He's just gonna hang out with the spears for a little bit longer. Oh. Crap. What? Aren't you one of my friends too? Did I just get betrayed? Can I? Eh. Eh. Oh, come on. Hold on. Just, just a, just a little. Eh. Oh, crap. Hold on. I'm gonna kill this guy one way or another. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. Gonna angle it through the bars just right. Oh, come on. That is so brutal. <laughs> so we got turned on by one of our friends and tricked into some kind of super evil co jail cell. <laughs> These levels are ridiculous. I can't believe that they have this much story. Okay, there are a couple of different paths that I couldn't go down that I'm really curious about. So let's just try those. So what happens if I shoot you in the face, but I don't press this button? Can I go down here? I know there are guards through here. Okay, so they're just kind of hanging out, completely oblivious to the world around them. Let's uh, just shoot both of them with one, and then you with the other. Anything of interest in here? This seems to be their armory, pretty much. Okay. Well, nothing too out of the ordinary so far. You can have one, and you can have one. Let's find our way back to that boardroom. So we come down here, we get rid of the memer, we kick the guy into the mutant. He spits him out. Okay, I wasn't sure if he would breathe fire on him or not, because he, whoa, 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 he does breathe fire on me, but I don't know why. That's really weird. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Now we hit the button, and then that should lead us to the boardroom. And then I think there was more after the boardroom, right? There was a door on the opposite side. So... We need to go through here, right? You guys just hang out, okay? I'm, I'm giving you a break right now. Super Evil Co. PowerPoint presentations. Interesting. Okay. So, we've got one guy working late hours. Sucks to be him. We could go down there, or we could go down there. Let's try down here first. This is not, it's not actually, a, I mean, it's locked. Yeah, it's locked. Not that it's not actually a door, it's just locked. And then hopefully you're also not actually a door. Okay, so as expected, the boardroom was boring. <laughs> So my friend really doesn't amount to much in this level. I'm not totally sure what he's going for over here. What if I get rid of all of these pesky, confusing spears? Do you like that? Are you a big fan of that? What if I kick you, oh. I thought maybe I could just kinda get his jazz bones moving, but apparently I kick like a Super Saiyan. So it turns out I wasn't joking. I actually do kick like a Super Saiyan. Every kick that I deliver kills somebody. <laughs> So I went back to the very beginning and got the gun, and now I'm really curious if I can shoot the guy who betrays me through those bars, because I would love to do that. Why are my kicks so strong? Maybe all the enemies in this are just really, really weak, and that's why the katana never gives out, but it's ridiculous that I can just kind of sneeze on somebody and they explode. Wow, the person who made this game actually thought ahead and made it so that you can't do what I just thought I could do. I, I was thinking, okay, I'll bring the gun with me as far as I can, and then when I need to drop down and face the boss, I'll throw the gun down and bring the katana with me to kill the boss, because I'm not gonna be able to just use the gun. But I can't go back and get the katana now. So, I'm just gonna have to fight him with... my fists, I guess? I do have Berserk. 
I'm pretty sure, yeah, I dropped down here, and now I need to face you. And I need, well, I need one bullet, so maybe I can use a couple of bullets. Would a couple of bullets do it for you? Uh, okay, well, we're gonna have to leave you uh, there, just in the corner, and then berserk. And then hopefully, hopefully you just explode into little meaty cubes, please. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> berserk got there. You can't plan for this. You can kick him berserk? Why have I never thought of that before? Oh my god, I could have been kicking meaty little cubes this whole time. So, I have one shot. What? What? I had one shot, didn't I? I swear to god if this doesn't have a bullet left in it. If he somehow rigged it so that all of your shots are removed when you drop down. I got something for you. Oh, come on. Well, there you have it. Stay in the shadows for we have been betrayed. We have been captured and we can't even break the game to prevent that. So I figured we would play one more level for the people who aren't really big fans of stealth in this game. This level is called Airship and apparently we are aboard a pirate vessel in the sky. Is this my pirate vessel? You know what? It is now. I am now the captain. It's part of my name, and we are gonna board an enemy airship. That is really clever. Okay, well, let's uh, hope we make it. Nailed it. Hi guys, oh boy, okay. Um, I know that I already have an entire airship to myself, and that's a lot for just one person, but I want more. I'm a greedy pirate, what can I say? Hey, big boy, do you wanna be my first mate? No, oh, okay, that's cool then. There's one guy that keeps coming up the stairs and then, yeah, he just kinda disappears. Not totally sure why. Maybe he's trying to figure out where the captain is? I wouldn't mind figuring out where the captain is, honestly, because, oh, wait a minute. I have a friend down there. Oh, hey, look, you're back, and he's gone again. I will find the captain, but first I need to deal with everybody on board, then we'll go below deck. I'm just wailing on people with an oar. <laughs> it's very fitting. Ow! Oh, what the? What just hit me? Where ghost kid just hit me? I swear to God. Okay, let's go through here. Oh, there's the captain. Okay, I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. Boop, boop, boop. I'm the captain now. Hmm. That was your oar, so it's really your loss. How about I uh, just throw this at your face? Okay, he he's a bit of a diver. Hmm. I think the issue we had last time was communication, right? He probably didn't hear me yelling, I'm the captain now, as I was bludgeoning him with an oar. So let's just try again. I'm the captain now. Okay, no, it's not communication. Let's see you try to communicate without a face, you ass. There we go. Okay, he's dead, and I'm gonna take his weapons. Uh -huh. People are always asking me why I don't use the shield. It's because the shield sucks. Really just that simple. It's just as easy to take a step back as it is to block. There are a lot of pirates down here. So honestly, I would rather not risk myself getting hit by trying to block. I would rather just get out of the way and guarantee not to get hit. <laughs> well, my friend didn't last very long. Oh well, here you guys can have the shield too. Gentlemen, this isn't how this works. I'm the captain now, okay, and his first order is captain. I declare this ship is now the SS Pantsless. So everybody take their pants off. No pants allowed on the ship. A bunch of pants wearers, I see. All right then, mutiny it is. You can all walk the plank for it. Ow, that kind of hurt. Rude. Um, I really don't want to get hit again, so maybe I will use Berserk? Maybe not. I think we're doing just fine. Gonna be an absolute nightmare to clean up, but that's okay. This crew has a very hard time with stairs. They aren't totally sure what's going on. <laughs> Listen, man, we all have our weaknesses, okay? I I'm sure with only one eye, your depth perception is probably garbage, so maybe I could just take that oar off your hands and uh, make sure you don't get up and hurt me. There we go. Okay, we got a big guy left and a friend. Well, big guy, guess who's getting... You know what? I think I kind of want to berserk. I think I kind of want to kick you. Uh, no, kick you, kick you. Where's the kick button? Where's kick? It should be kicking right now. There we go. Oh, oh, he's just gonna sw Oh, he almost swung at me anyway. <laughs> that would have sucked. Okay. We get away with a sliver of health and a whole bunch of pirate bits on me. Friend? 
Yeah, me and my friend are gonna get out of here. We're gonna rule the seven seas together. Maybe. I couldn't hit him. I was hoping I could hit him. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And I always get people asking me in the comments of these videos, you know, why don't you play Paint the Town Red every day? Why don't you play it more often? Because I love this series, and I love it too. But I like to play all different kinds of games. You know, I love to bring what I bring to Paint the Town Red to many different kinds of videos. And then because of that, at the end of the last episode, I decided maybe I would recommend a different video. So I recommended Room 669, and a lot of people ended up watching it, and a lot of people ended up really enjoying it, which I was super happy to see. You know, a lot of people gave it a chance, and were pleasantly surprised that I'm not just a Paint the Town Red channel. So today, I figured maybe I would do the same thing. I'm gonna recommend Pogo Postman. It's a short video that I made a couple of days ago, but it is by far the angriest I have ever been playing a game on camera. Okay, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll wanna break things. It was a great experience. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.